Welcome back. Now that the temperature is falling, that means more time indoors and keeping cozy. Today we're talking comfort food with a healthy twist. Jane Ritter from Coburn's is here with an easy to make recipe. Welcome. It's good to have you here. Oh, I'm so excited to be you here. You have such a fun job because you blog, you connect with Coburn's customers and their videos that you have. You've come in today with something nice and savory and simple. Tell me about it. Absolutely. It's a maple chicken with carrots and it is so easy because I'll tell you what, when I get home from work, this girl does not have time for gourmet. I need something quick and easy and that's what I do. I share those ideas on my blog and on my videos. We're loving that and today you're going to show us how simple it actually is. We've gotten a little bit of a jump in this yes. beautiful cast iron skillet. Why do you prefer this this type of skillet over say aluminum or one of the stain? Well, the, it's non-stick. I'll tell you what, I am convinced it tastes better than making it in any other pan. It does. I'm, it I'm seals convinced. it in, doesn't it? It it's, does. It's great. So you put in four beautiful chicken breasts here. Any special uh, selection of these? What I did yeah. is I did chicken breasts because I want to make a healthy recipe. Yeah. You can use chicken thighs, but the chicken breast is actually healthier for you. So what I did is I just seasoned it with salt and pepper, put a little olive oil in there, and I seared them for two minutes on each side and it, that's it. And the searing then because breasts tend to dry out exactly. more and that's why we like breasts a lot of us more but you sear it in and that keeps it the moisture inside. That that's meat exactly then. right. Loving so what that. I'm going to do quickly is just remove them Great. and I'm going to have you help me. Love it. So we're going to add the rest of the ingredients to this. What do you call okay. this dish? It's called maple chicken with carrots. With carrots. Yes. Nice and simple. So the first thing you're going to do is add some apple cider vinegar. So put that right in here. Right in there. All right. Why the apple cider? It gives it a little tang and you're going to taste it when you try all it. All right. Okay. Then you're going to do the minced garlic. Minced garlic. And we get a little done. extra garlic in there. Just Are you this like neat that. at home? Do you have them all chopped? Well, in? you know what? I am a neat freak. Oh, yeah. I, I will warn you. So you like precision. Oh, yeah. All right. I got I it. I am very coordinated. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is pure maple syrup. Oh, look so at that, that gives Beautiful. it that sweet taste. Love it. Savory. Mm. And then you've got to have your ground mustard. Ground mustard. Okay. Ooh, yeah. So nice and coarse. With Absolutely. That. Yep. Good. Okay. Now we have got um, half a lemon juice. Love that. Perfect. Okay, and then we've got thyme. And I'll tell you what, you can put fresh thyme in here. I use dried, it's quicker, it's easier, and it's less expensive. So it, you're not a purist with that. It no. gives you the flavor, that's what you're going after. Exactly, and then exactly. What's next, next I'm gonna up. just have you stir All it up. All right, there we go. And once you have it mixed, I'm gonna add this to the pan. Great, look at that. Gets it going on in here. It does. Are you do you use gas at home? Uh, I do. To, yeah. I prefer it. A little more control. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put these in here. And then what I'm gonna have you do is the add the carrots to this dish. Nice. Now the carrots, what I did is I, I put a little olive oil in there. Nice. I added some salt and pepper. Just, just put mix them all it. around? All exactly. Right. Just all throw right. them in there. Nice. Nice color with this, too. It is. It's beautiful. That's the thing with the leaves on the trees yes. and all. This brings it indoors, doesn't it? When it really does. Done. And wait till beautiful. you see what it looks like after it's finished. Pretty. Beautiful. Uh, okay, so now right. what we do, stick it in the oven for 425 degrees. Oh. Cook it for 20, 25 minutes, depending on your oven. Just make sure that chicken is cooked to a temperature of 165 degrees before you serve it. So it's as simple it. as that. And That's then it. Pop. Okay, exactly. great. Exactly. And then, voila. Here is your finished product. Oh, look at that. How Isn't nice that, that beautiful? Is. This is good. This seems to me that you could actually do this in advance if you wanted. Absolutely. And you then could. just heat her up, and then you have this wonderful meal. You exactly. have some nice things, uh, sides for I this. Do. What do you have? I do. I, I wanted to bring a couple options that somebody could serve with this, and I've got a quinoa salad. Love it. And I'll tell you what, when I made it, you can serve it hot if you want to, yeah. but you can also serve it cold. And I just added some almonds, some cranberries to it, and a, a balsamic vinegar mix that I put in there. This is so cool. It's and, easy. And all of these ingredients you can either get online or in a Coburn store. Everything's exactly. available there and exactly. all the accent on fresh. You know, it leaves one thing left that we well, need to do right now. We've got one more salad. What is it? Tell okay, me about Okay, now it. this is my absolute favorite. This is the one I am really right. excited about. It's pretty. Okay, it's got your mixed greens in there. It's got red onion. It's got dried cranberries, walnuts. It's got blue mm. cheese crumbles and fresh pears. And then what I do is just drizzle it with raspberry vinaigrette. Nice. And that just kicks it off right Oh, it there. does. All right. I'd say we lift a glass oh, and absolutely. we toast. 
And All this, this is a great, great information. We can find it on the Coburn's website. We can follow you as well. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. Thank you Ooh. for inviting me. I love it. Well, our pleasure. Well, cheers, everyone. <laughs> it's got to be five o'clock somewhere. Right? Mm. <laughs> well, thank you, Patrick. Uh, that's for sure. You can find out today's recipe and a link to Coburn's on carolevin.com. Click on Amped Up under the Features tab. Coming up, how Washington County is making good use of goats to control invasive plants in Grow With Care with Bobby and Laura this week. And as baseball season finishes, we'll have the spotlight on town ball parks, uh, town ball parks in Minnesota. A lot of wonderful ones. We'll uh, take a look at this beautiful book when Carol Levin News Saturday continues in our second hour. Amped Up is presented by CoburnsDelivers.com. I don't actually mind grocery shopping. For me, it's like a little retreat, a place where I can get away and I can focus. <laughs> I find it relaxing, really. <laughs> it's me time. Grocery run, totally done. Coburn's delivers.